Scattered all over YouTube, there's thousands of videos of people breaking world records in what seems like a couple hours of work. So in this video, I'm changing it up a bit and taking you behind the scenes while me and my brother try to break one of these world records that we are 100% not skilled enough to break. This is my brother Adam, but you can call him Buzz. Feels weird for me to even say Adam. He helps with a lot of stuff behind the scenes on this YouTube channel, and it's been his dream to break his very own world record. But which one do we even attempt? All these compiled lists have dozens of so-called easily broken world records, but there's a problem with that. None of these are specialized skills, and if anybody can do them, that means they're almost going to be impossible to break because everybody will do them. Two seconds. So ultimately, we decided to go with something that he's actually good at, which is archery. The record most water balloons burst with a single arrow seemed like the most attainable. And after we waited about 12 weeks from a company that doesn't want to be named for some reason, but they also make really good beer and they keep track of world records, we finally had all the rules and everything I needed to start building a rig to attempt this record. So I just used some 2x6 framing lumber to whip up two of these A-frame triangle ends and then I connected them with some 12 foot 2x6s. Then I used some outdoor paint to make it look a little more video ready. With the frame completed, we had a couple rule book things we needed to take care of. First, the shot has to be fired from 20 meters away, so I measured out 20 meters from the front of the rig and painted a nice clear line that Buzz's feet are gonna have to stay behind when he shoots. Next, we need to be on perfectly level ground. And since that doesn't really exist, and I don't know why that's a rule, I instead drove in a stake, and then we're gonna use a line level to level off from exactly where the arrow will be shot to where the arrow will hit the first balloon. Since this line is perfectly level, we don't have to worry about the slight slope that we're standing on. And with that all ready to go, I had to make the beam that the balloons will actually be hung from. So I used the straightest piece of 12 foot 2x6 I could possibly find and then strung a line and screwed in these hooks. I originally did every inch, but as it went on, there was a lot of hooks, so I went to every three or four inches. To mount this beam onto the frame, I just used a 2x4 cutoff on each end. And then we can line it up with exactly where we need the balloons to hang and level it off in every direction. This is also adjustable by taking out a couple of screws, which is perfect because I imagine we're going to have to add a little bit of drop by the end of the run as the arrow loses momentum, but we'll see how it works in testing. Lastly, I just whipped up this little platform that's going to be mounted onto the back of the rig that's going to hold a target.
And now we're ready to test this out. After some trial and error, we figured out exactly where we need to hit the balloons. It seems it has to be in that little pocket of balloon just above the waterline, but not quite up in the neck where it'll bounce the arrow away when it hits it. And any shots too low will deflect away after they go through a few balloons. And we also figured out that I put the hook space in at 3 inches on this beam, but we're going to have to up that to 4 inches, and we're going to have to extend the length of the beam to get enough balloons in our run. So I just used a 16 foot 2x6 to make a whole new beam that'll hold 48 balloons. A couple other rulebook things to mention since we now have the full rig set up. The balloons have to be under 20 centimeters in diameter and hung from the tied off part of the balloon, and our balloons are sitting just over 10 centimeters. The bow has to be commercially available, which it is. The balloons have to be arranged in a single line and hit with a single shot. Only balloons which burst will be counted, and balloons don't have to be hit in a consecutive order. By the way, if you're wondering how I shot all this, I had an arsenal of about 8 different cameras on tripods for this shoot. World Directed Water Balloon, attempt number one. Yeah. Hit the water, yeah. Ah, shitty. Just a little bit higher and she would bounce. All right, Guinness attempt number two. The day was filled with more attempts like this and they just kept getting worse and worse as we pushed harder and harder. We burned through over a thousand balloons this day and the worst part wasn't even setting up all the time, it was doing it never knowing if we're actually going to get a video out of this in the end or if we're even going to get close to touching this record. This is apparently a pretty common thing among archers called target panic and it really stems from having something on the line for an individual shot. You could hit bullseyes all day, but once you're actually there trying for a world record, everything becomes a lot more real. But we did have one reassuring shot through the day. This less than perfect shot knocked out 36 balloons, only two off the world record. But more importantly, it gave us motivation to come back the next day and crush this record once and for all.
since we're technically only allowed three attempts per day, this last one is going to be make or break for today. Did we get it? Short again, son of a... I don't know. That's pretty f***ing close. I mean, I don't know, how does that count? If that, those count, that was it. That was it? If those count, I think. Well, they're broken. 8, 48, that'd be 40. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> So the rules say most balloons burst by a single arrow, but it never goes on to define burst. So I want to hear from you in the comments if you think we officially broke this world record and should submit it. Or a tie, if those don't count, it's hard to say. That's awesome. Either way, I'm pumped to not have to fill up any more balloons. Or maybe a few more. So this probably isn't going to count for some common sense reasons. First of all, these are called bolts, not arrows. But if you look at the rules, they define an arrow as a thin straight stick with a point that's shot from a bow, and this meets that description. But I mean, we also filled these balloons with quite a bit of air so that we wouldn't have to shoot this a million times. But hey, still look like a water balloon to me. Either way, we aren't going to submit this version, but I still want to know your thoughts on our actual record break with the bow, whether you think we cleanly broke the record or not. Nonetheless, we had a ton of fun shooting this video and it was a nice change of pace from my regular build videos. If you appreciate the effort I put into my videos, I'd love it if you hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.